microwave cow udders. What? That is some dumb shit. That is some yeah. dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> well, if you want warm milk, then just microwave it at the source. What? Why would a microwave? Why would you have to warm it up if you got it at the source? Because it's only like probably like seventy degrees. We run at, that at point. ninety-eight degrees. Cows have to run hotter than us. Not necessarily. Why are we debating this? That's oh, just uh, operating in, temperature. Yeah. Inverted so human. square nipples. Got it. That's what I was looking for. Hit hit it right in the head of the nail. Yeah, we should all get matching Prince Alberts. What the no. fuck is a Prince Albert? That's where you get to the tip of your pierce. What is wrong with you? Come on, Cobro special. We no. get little corn no. fucking trinkets no. on our Prince Alberts. No. No. Okay. no. no. There's a lot of censoring going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, Prince no, Albert no is just said or anything. Oh. Oh. <laughs> anyway, hi everybody. Welcome <laughs> to the Cobb Brothers podcast. <laughs> Uh, I, <laughs> well, you're gonna have to timestamp that one. I am. I've got I, it. We're good. I'm Brandon. Um, sitting to my right is David. Hi, hello. And to, and to his right is Cyrus. I am Cyrus. And to his right is Oscar. And maybe Oscar. Might be Oscar. And maybe. his right is uh, C- 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 Colson. God. I almost. No, said I, I'm sitting next to Cyrus. Uh, and that's right. He's sitting between them. Yeah, he's the lamp. I'm, I'm looking at this room the fucking wrong way. Hey, Oscar, what? you should. Uh, so we turn on that lamp. Turn that lamp. I was thinking the exact same thing, oh Brandon. God. You mentioned the lamp. Electricity, and I was like, lamp. guys. It's bright in here, dude. The electricity lamp. is on our the side. The lamp. The lamp. The lamp. The lamp. The Hand lamp. me the lamp. The fire. How y'all doing this week, everybody? Dude, it's another good. episode. The what lamp. episode is this? Ninety-eight, dude. Dude, we're almost at a hundred. Oh. And we're at like what? One twenty-two subs now? One twenty-one? Something like that. Allegedly. Allegedly. Let me Allegedly. check. Allegedly. I'll, I'll do a live check right now. Do All it live. Check. Dude, do it guys. live. All right. We got, what are we what are we doing for episode one hundred? We gotta do something. We gotta do something. Well, we, we do. Done yet hey, we, we keep it low key. A... We just act like we have a plan and go with it. Okay. Well, now they know. Viewers, you're gonna be surprised. Okay. Yeah. Well, we surprised. We, 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 right. we do know that we are planning the uh, intro. <laughs> yeah, we can. Bleep it. We can bleep it. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. Yeah. But we're planning on doing that, and uh, that we have an that. interesting idea for it. So it'll be cool if it plays out and it looks well. Hell yeah. And I have hopes for it because I want to do more stuff like that in that medium of recording things. I'm not going to specify it, like right. since Oscar doesn't want me to. Yeah, hey, <laughs> got, like, we, we, we got well we, well got, we got to leave him a little bit. Yeah, of we got part. some hot stuff cooking up for you. Yeah. yeah, hot stuff. We have cooking some, into pot. We have some new ideas. We're going to try some new things. Cob pot. Yeah. But yeah, we, we are at 121 us. subscribers of 224 Damn. videos. Out of how many videos? 224. Damn. We're almost at 300. Wow. That's if you guys have not seen our most recent Friday upload, go check that out, too. If you like Borderlands, uh, you'll like Borderlands. And if you guys stick around <laughs> till the end of the episode, you guys get to hear the weekly beat of the week. So what, also what? check those out. As, what, what, as made by Cyrus. I make them. I feel like we should advertise that more, because I'm not sure how many people always make it to the end. You know, it's it's mm. a... You can't always if sit through a full a podcast, beat. but you guys definitely should if you haven't. Check out uh, some of the beats of the week. There should be a different beat for each episode. There should Nearly be. each ep- yeah. episode, yeah. Sometimes we crunch time and that's that. But should we have. still fucking try to be original. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to Cyrus. We do damn good. Well, well, Cyrus well, does well, damn good. I try. Your your drum track has evolved a lot recently and I really enjoy it. Doesn't listening suck to it. anymore. Well, it didn't suck it to begin stuck. with, dude. No, it's, it's just stuck. I mean, well, you were there was that one. Smoothing oh, out yeah, rough well. edges. Wow. And you've, You've come a long way. Dude, look Give at, yourself yeah, that. Yeah. Have you seen Have you seen the Friday uploads? How How they've gone better and those, better? Those got better. Those got, those got, got pretty fucking. Yeah, those got dude. killer. I mean, your uh, your review of uh, um, I'm losing the name of the game. The first one you did, uh, Back for Blood. Back for Blood. Yeah. That one blew up really well, and uh, your attention to detail in that one was really fucking just entertaining. And uh, yeah, big kudos because that was fun. So yeah. It's, it's, uh... We're in a golden age of Cobras right now, I'll tell you what. Yeah, yeah. we're turning a new leaf. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. New cheek, if you will. Yeah, slapping new some new ass. New cheek on the ass. What? Uh, well, hey, ho. What are you doing what, what now? <laughs> Talking about donkeys. <laughs> oh! You, you kick the mule, you know? Get, oh. get, that, get that horse going. A little going. bit of good game action. Good nice. Game. Good game, good game. GG's. Dude, I'll give you guys a good game ass tap anytime. Thank you. No I appreciate that. Yeah. Anytime. That's just brotherly care that's just common courtesy yeah, yeah, like, that's, yeah. I, I was raised to be that i found the token okay there we he go. said he was gonna, gonna tap that though oh, i do be tapping i i have to apologize to the audience 
Why what is that, Cyrus? What if I'm oh, yeah. dogging on oh, yeah. since the start of the podcast? So, NFT, Cyrus. Yeah. Oh, what have you done? my God. Um, I might own an NFT. <laughs> oh, Cyrus. <laughs> and, no. My bad. My bad. Uh, I pre ordered. How could you? The newest Avenged Sevenfold album, Life is But a Dream. Stream now. It's pretty good. Good. <laughs> hey, copyright. Yo, no, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Yo, the <laughs> album's trippy. It's not like any album they've put out before, so. Okay, There's a Daft Punk song in there. You I sent me. Oscar a song and I was like, hey, look, it's Daft Punk. And he's like, this isn't Avenged Sevenfold. And my joke of the week is I told him, I said, it's allegedly Sevenfold. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's almost Sevenfold. All of their official merch now has an NFC, NFT tag on it. So I'm holding it open right now. The inside of mine, I'll put this in the Discord mm. so David can put it in the video. Yeah. There's an NFT t tag that you can scan into an app and they just give you an nft that verifies that this is official merchandise is it like a, it's like a is it a photo or is it just um so a, on the app it gives you a, your nft address and stuff like that um gives you a token id and it lets you know exactly what you purchase i don't know but what, what it is does. It? what know. is it I don't, it's digital it still means nothing to me <laughs> but like do you, it's not a photo it's just a code yeah saying like hey yeah thanks for buying it's like a receipt uh-huh it's in <laughs> the polygon blockchain what? Yeah. I don't know what that means. It's in the polygon. You're speaking a different language. So if you trade it, you trade polygon coins. How much polygons is that? I don't fucking know. <laughs> right, have I don't, I don't have Kraken pulled up right now. Does it have more polygons than the N64? Let's be real. I have no idea. Uh, it might I don't know enough about it, uh, but I I have an NFT and I don't know what to do with it. But... Is it like your phone burning your hands as you like just keep looking at it? My phone was hot from streaming it to the TV. Oh, yeah. But, um... <laughs> we're, we're watching the... We were watching the... Stanley oh, Cup final. I'll pull up the score. Uh, yeah, Vegas is in the Stanley Cup finals. They're playing the uh, oh. the Florida Panthers. Let's go Nevada. Battleborn. Am I right? Oh, Battleborn State, dog. Yeah, yeah. Got to wrap the hometown team. They're still up four two with three minutes left. So we'll just assume Vegas wins it. There you go. Okay. Uh, one of my first games actually was an N NHL game. I think it was really? NHL two thousand three on the PC. Probably a first PC game. Fucking it. I had like the a controller for it and everything. And I just slapped the fucking button that just <laughs> launched it. And just <laughs> hope for the best. That's kind of what I do when I still play NHL. Yeah, I just yeah, it'll, work. it'll get in there eventually. Yeah. That Halo much. Five Xbox I bought came with NHL Fifteen, and I played a little bit of that. What? Why did it come with NHL? It was just it came with Halo Five and NHL Fifteen. Oh, so. I mean the one that you got from. Okay. Yeah, I thought it been like a brand new. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh God. <laughs> Instead of Halo, it came with yeah. the NHL. So when I tested out the Xbox, I put NHL on it, and I was like looking for the Knights, and I forgot that the Knights weren't a team in 2014. So I was like, oh, uh, we'll when did the, they when did they come to existence? Twenty. 17, I think, was their first season. Yeah, like our se senior year of high school. They were in the Stanley Cup Finals in 2018, so 2017, 2018 was their first year. Yeah, their very first year as a team, they made it to the final. Wow. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> they just, like, came out of the gate literally swinging. Yeah, Everyone like, thought they were being like, oh, a bunch of rookie bitches. Oh, they yeah. scored again. They're, at five, they're up to 5-2. Oh, boy. Go Vegas. Let's go Nevada. Let's 90 go Nevada. seconds left. Mm -hmm. Ooh, fight time. Okay. Scrum on. Um, <laughs> hey, real quick. Real quick. Before we get in to anything else uh the ps5 pro shit i was wrong about but they <gasps> did leak something about a possible <gasps> new ps5 model uh uh console the slim and it would have well i don't know if it's the slim but uh in in the article i was reading it was talking about a detachable disk drive what huh and I don't know what the... What's the purpose of that? I don't know. I'm like, thinking you buy a digital edition console. So, like, say it's a slim. Yeah. And it's just all digital, but you're able to just snap on a disk drive. If oh, you want okay. The option, too. They'll make the handheld be the disk drive for the console. You plug it like a fucking Switch, oh, but for your PS5? <laughs> oh, it's going to be a Wii U. <laughs> oh, it's going to yeah. be a damn Wii U. Oh, Can it transmit CD wirelessly or no? Is that possible? Data? Yeah, because you could just stream it. That's kind of what the Wii U does. So that's but uh, Colton's probably right, hasn't it? It's yeah, because it streams all the data to the gamepad, and you know it obviously displays and gets all your button input from the Wii U gamepad. No, it's technology, man. But I don't just... know if you've used the Wii U gamepad, but it's highly not intuitive. It actually, <laughs> it actually works very well. The problem is, is that nobody wanted to develop for it, so we never really saw the cool ideas that people could come up with. Like Black Ops Two is a launch title on the Wii U. And like your kill streaks and your mini map were on the gamepad. That's dope. So like you would just tap the screen or look down and you could see the whole mini map without having to you know press start and look at everything. Huh. That's dope. Yeah, it is pretty cool. There yeah. there was cool applications for what the Wii U could have been, but it, I know for Wind nope. Waker Remastered, like all your items and everything are right there in the pad, mm -hmm. and you just move it and change it like that, and you can like tap amiibos on it and get like arrows yep. and shit. Mm -hmm. 
I still have my Wolf Link amiibo that I got with the Twilight Princess HD remake, and you can use that in Breath of the Wild. Ooh, what do you get? Um, you get a Wolf Link that th- follows you around. He's got three hearts. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Can I borrow it? No, it's mine. I have an 8-bit Mario amiibo and a Boo amiibo. Mm. Boo. Oh, the, the ghost? Boo? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I have the Animal Crossing ones that come with that shitty Animal Crossing game on the Wii U. Because it was five dollars at Target. Holy it's called. Shit. It's like Amiibo. Oh, what is it? It's Animal oh. Crossing Amiibo Festival, and it's like a. Oh yeah. It's like a uh, a Mario Party clone. Huh. Oh. And it's not that good. And people were promised a Animal Crossing game for the Wii U, and that's what they got. <laughs> they got a Mario Party knockoff. And the inconvenient part about the game was you had to keep scanning. Your fucking amiibo every time you had to take a turn. So you had to really? set the Wii U gamepad down where everybody could get to it. Every time it was your turn, you had to get your fucking piece and go over and tap it. Sit back, wait for that to happen, and then your friend goes up and he's like, "Yeah, hey, hold on, I gotta tap. I gotta tap it. I gotta go forward and tap the table." Yeah. That- they just made it really hard to play. Mm. It's, just, no it's super inconvenient to have fun. Three came in the box, so if you want to play with four people, you have to go buy play another one. one. Those bastards. Amiibos, though, you can get them like black and mar- black market versions on amazon for pennies on the dollar oh yeah and that's the you way to can, do it you can also emulate them emulate wait wait, 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 wait. hold on nintendo's been getting weird lately <laughs> you know that, that actually gives me an idea i saw uh, a, a a video of this a while back but i thought i think we should try out for the channel uh amiibo cockfights now hear me, <laughs> now hear me your cock yeah now hear me out hear me out right we each get an amiibo right we even get one for colton right we train it up to like its max level then we have like a tournament style thing with the uh what's it called with the the amiibos right and the loser of each round gets like just like we set it on fire we cut it in half like we oh we it. like destroyed yeah. the amiibo but not the token the token is just fine you should destroy the statue essentially but i'm just saying hmm. i'm just saying we could. crazy idea i know it's crazy. like question. smash bros yeah like smash what? bros yes okay. yes what is an amiibo Amiibo is a little the little figurines yeah. with a NFT I'm pretty sure your sure brother has a whole bunch of them for it. that so like they're like little miniature like 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 mini figures for D&D but they have a, a token on the mm-hmm. bottom. Okay. Uh and then you can like scan it onto like anything essentially like any huh. Nintendo the game that has them in it. Gotcha. And it'll give you like some bonuses for like for instance for Smash Brothers you can get put one in there and it'll save data out uh, uh, fighter data to that specific uh statue. Okay. So you train it and it'll learn like maneuvers. It's like an AI huh. you train essentially. Okay. But like, it's like a more advanced Skylander. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, exactly. I, I was about to say picture Skylanders, but it works across the entire Nintendo system. You don't yeah, need a portal yeah, yeah. because you can mm. just tap it to the console. And so oh, on the this, only they look like Smash this. Brothers, or does it go? I send like, it to group chat. Oh, the group chat. Does it go with other games and stuff? Yeah. For instance, like you were saying, he has a, a Wolf Link from Twilight Princess. Okay. But if you use it in the new one, Breath of, uh, Breath of the Wild, which is the Kingdom. You get like a little companion that wall follows you. Huh. It's like cool. a shit like that. You know? Interesting. Gotcha. Um, here you go. There's, there's a there's a, his amiibo. They're like little statues like that, and they yeah. have a token inside their base. That's like that same token that Cyrus got his. It's like your little chip yeah. in your debit card or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like an NFT that you actually own. Yeah, you can actually you hold go. it, and if you want it to like destroy Green Army men with it and throw it at the wall, yeah, you can do that because it's tangible. <laughs> it's an item that you can hold. Interesting. But I'm saying we get some of those. <laughs> Like five of those. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it, train them up on All Smash Bros. Right. And then just have a just have a, like a little. There you go. Like he, he has a couple right there. David like, just brought his amiibos down. He's got a, a Mauser and a, a Mario and a Bowser. A Mauser and a, a Mauser. Oh, he's Mouser got a Mauser. Mario. <laughs> put it down. Put it down. Put it down. It's yeah, like that was he nice just too. put it on top of the thing, and it would. And so we would just put all the amiibo or two at a time, and whatever to have them fight yeah, in a tournament. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That'd be like, really for, cool. For the Switch, uh, you could just tap that straight on the analog sticks, and it would work. Huh? It's crazy. It starts and from a level zero, and then you fight it, or you have it fight like hard cpus and it, learns, it just, just learns, learns by itself mm-hmm. yeah i actually have no idea if the wolf link one works in super smash i'd have to try it that would it be cool will, it probably just make it like a special yeah. costume or something it works in super mario maker you can actually put a little wolf link on the on the map what? you can play as wolf link <clears throat> what oh yeah super mario yeah, maker i've seen like videos yeah. of that shit so that's maybe something go. yeah it's fucking... I, I found out that those uh copies of twilight princess are actually going for a lot and i still have the original box oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> So I have the amiibo in the original box that it came in, so that's pretty. Dope. Right, we won't use wow. that one. We won't use that. One. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying, if we wanted to, it would just be just the cost essentially of the the amiibos, and then us will be okay 
ripping it to shreds. It's out whichever <laughs> one. We just get the order of which the ones lose it, and we take them out into the desert one day and just fucking shoot them. Yeah. <laughs> this is obliterated. With the Mauser. And with with the Mauser. Mauser, with the Mauser. Mauser was lost in the first tournament. It cussed him in the desert. Just... <laughs> Get some tan right inside of him. <laughs> no chance of survival. <laughs> you guys watch Toy Story, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Do you do you really want to be Sid? Yeah. They well, they're not that. toys. Like it's merchandise. He quarterback okay? the Raiders for nine seasons. <laughs> Look, I don't own any of these things, so if I blow a couple up, it's not like mine are gonna come attack me. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Toys don't talk to We each don't other. make abominations. We just destroy them outright. I'm looking yeah. at you, Mario. <laughs> your your future's in danger, boy. You're about to be a Luigi. <laughs> You're about to be a Luigi. Demoted. I'll make you purple. Update on that Vegas night. So they won game one, five to two. Easy nice. money. Go Nevada. Go Nevada. So next game is going to be Monday, right? Is every two uh, days? It should be. The finals right now are every three days because they didn't want to compete with the, uh, the okay. Stanley Cup because you have two Miami teams Yeah. in the championship. So they might be doing it three days as well. Dumb Miami. Dumb Miami. Miami just beat Oakland. 12 to 1 in baseball. Oh, baseball, today. Yeah. yeah. Miami's on fire. Well, yeah, they have a covered. team that's on fire. It's the Heat. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're, they're on the white cover of, of MLB 23, right? Yeah, the Marlins. Yeah. yeah. They have LeBron. You know, Miami's getting it so easy. Their only like downside is that they're in Florida. Yeah, they're just below sea level. It's fine. Yeah, it's okay. It'll be good. Who's sea level? Why are they blowing? <laughs> That's my rapper name. Sea level? Sea level. Nice. I like it. it and your first album cover is just you looking at a level. <laughs> <laughs> Check out my four part EP at the end of July. Sea level. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Now I gotta actually do it. Dude, speaking of July, <laughs> uh, uh, link in the description when that comes out. Yee yee. Sea level by Sea it, gonna. Soon. It's ha- are you gonna make it happen now? Yeah. It's, it's just, like just ocean sounds. Mm hmm. And then whale noises in between. <laughs> a random sc- a, a random fucking sc- like SpongeBob screaming and then just fading out. <laughs> it's just by. Cyrus sitting there making ocean sounds with his mouth. It's not actually. He's just sitting there for an hour. <laughs> what? What? What the fuck? Um, oh, okay. I told you guys what my band name would be, right? If I started a band. No. Flaccid the Rusty Kayak. Rusty Doubloon? Flaccid. Yeah, it'd be kayak. Flaccid Kayak. Why? Why not? Think about it. The, I mean, what is, he's got me there. Imagine the merch. <laughs> Bro. Imagine the Bro. Merch. Kayak. Bro. <laughs> you know that oh image God. of the clock going over the table like it's melting? Yeah, yeah. I forgot what that piece is called. It's like that, but with a kayak. Okay, you just need to release a track and call it Flaccid Kayak and then start a brand deal off of it. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Flaccid co- upgrades people. The, you know what? The shit that I have to write for the notes just <laughs> fascinates me. Sometimes. You're gonna put flaccid in your dictionary. Yeah, and it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be great. And because oh, flaccid in your has notes. two C's. Yes, yeah, so you didn't know that? No, I did not know oh, that. Oh, okay. Wow. Yep. He was about to say flaccid. 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 <laughs> flaccid. <laughs> um, you guys just brought up SpongeBob. That was gonna be one of my talking points today. Have you guys seen in your YouTube recommended page the newest SpongeBob phenomenon? No. That has the no. internet by the balls right now. It's AI SpongeBob. There's oh, you can God. Th- there's a channel live streaming AI generated SpongeBob episodes. Shut oh, the God. fuck up. Are you serious? I'm not joking. It's literally called AI SpongeBob on YouTube. And there's a live stream that's almost running all the time. David or David Brandon's about to pull it up on the TV. It is fantastic. I was watching at one point and there was a story arc where Squidward puts a jar in his ass and it breaks. <laughs> <laughs> so SpongeBob, Patrick, and Sandy need to figure out how to get him to the hospital. It it just finished, finished streaming two days ago. It's okay, twelve there, hours of just yeah. There was a stream earlier today as well, so that's probably gonna okay. be a vod later. Oh, there it is, AI Sponge. It's live right now. Oh my god! It is absolutely fantastic. It's fully voiced, subtitled what? around subtitled? the world. You can pay. He was found dead this morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Why what is happened? that guy in the back saying worm? I was about to get <laughs> What's going on? You can donate money to put your name as an NPC fish. Nice. <laughs> so if you donate enough oh money. Oh my god. Can, can we, we do get the right cop bro? Yes. yes! Yo, I was <laughs> the same fucking thought. Oh my god. Okay, I got to figure out how to get our name Dude, up there. They, All right, they, live on really, chat. We're the AI is really trying about. to think about what happened right now. Oh, Gary's just pushing him. Live, <laughs> he's like, get out of the what? fucking way. Get three That's... bucks to become a fish. He's... <laughs> he's just standing behind a fucking pole saying worm. Yeah. Is he actually saying something? No, that's his name. Oh. Take a 
Oh, there they go. <laughs> oh my god. John Port! I'm talking about John Pork. <laughs> Wait, who the fuck is John Pork? There's like a TikTok meme with this guy named John Pork and how he was found dead. Oh. Oh my god. It was like a meme where like your phone was ringing and it would just be John Pork and it was the guy later. with the uh, pig face. Hey, Patrick, have you ever given any thoughts on how you'd like to be disposed of after you die? Oh my god. What do you what mean? Do you mean? <laughs> this is my new favorite thing. This is amazing. You ask it, Bullworm! <laughs> Holy shit, there it is. Where can we tip? I'll, I'll fucking tip. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to get her. How name we tip? Up there. We need to get her our shelves. I got a screen record so we can put it in the episode. Dignified, like in a coffin? What do you mean? No, not like in a coffin. I was thinking more like being scattered in the wind or maybe turned into a garden statue. Patrick is just... <laughs> what the? Sometimes cars. Oh, he's just a crab's there. He's just sitting there. He's just standing there menacing. <laughs> so sometimes a car will drive by and just completely run people over for no reason. Yeah. Like I, I was... saw. <laughs> I saw. Don't say it. No, don't say it. I can't say. Don't it. say it. <laughs> There's just a fish name. Ah. Well, I swallow. Come. Yeah. You what, Brandon? What do you mean? I just no, said it's the word. Ice, oh, oh. Wallow. Come. There we go. Ooh, somebody tips. Big balls. Oh, there's a car. Three, car. <laughs> balls, balls, sponge. This is fuck technology. I was literally talking about this er uh, earlier with um with a fiance <laughs> and fucking. It's just like the well, the point that we're at now that we have like all this AI like oh, available to us, whatever we need, whenever like any any point in time, you can make it do like literally anything. There's people. There's even an epidemic. An epidemic. Uh, we were talking about last episode of kids using that for like college essays and like, having them write everything for mm -hmm. them. It's fucking nuts. Yeah, it's wild. Absolutely insane. I, I just can't wait Why for the video games fish? to start coming out where the like the AI can actually talk back to us and we can just have full blown conversations with the AI oh and never God. actually play the game. That would blow my mind, dude. That would be insane. It'll be like a nonstop game. It wouldn't stop. Absolutely. Because we just we would just <laughs> talk with them forever. You call them. Oh, Squid was here. What? Were there st well, what, like a well and if, okay. Big so balls. think about it this way too. Like, you, daily quests. Or random quests could truly be randomly generated. You would have an NPC that would have its own life, so to speak, that can be like, I need to go to the grocery store and get something, but I have a turkey in the oven. Can you go get me a grape? <laughs> a single grape, please. <laughs> hey, sir, please singular grape. Praying, please, big chungus Keanu Reeves in Ohio. Can you help me find my way? <laughs> what? So lost. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chungus. That's what Patrick just said to SpongeBob. No, no Colton, that'll be insane. They'll be be really crazy because, like, are they, they they wouldn't be would they be they come like sentient at some point? Would they realize they're in a fucking video game? <sighs> well, so that's where the argument could be said that are we in a video game already? No, yeah, we are. Yeah, of course. Because yeah. there's there's people that theorize that we live in a simulation. It is. I mean. Well, I can theorize that my balls are a certain Okay, shape, hold on but... now. Oh, yeah. Then Until you there's, like, fish on screen. an actual video game where every single fucking atom is its own polygon, then I'll start to get, like, really convinced we're in a simulation. Mm. But, like, nothing's... You can't simulate what's... that at this point. I just donated Well, money. what's to say, though, that the atoms and stuff that we see aren't just digitally generated and they're not actually there well because humans have been using technology for or using electricity for a hundred years of the last 2000 like it's a very yeah. very new idea I mean, that's come, just in human brain so like it's i I'm not, I'm not saying that it's not likely like it's totally likely it could be but until every single atom like we have until we can make a computer and a program that's like that it's hard to believe, at least for me, that everything around us is. So you need to see if we could do well, it. Once we can make it, yeah. I'm more convinced that something bigger made us like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of how I think about it. I mean, we're but not, we're but not we even... don't know. Anything is equally likely. Yeah. <laughs> like, like We're not even at the point where we have like visible holograms. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like in fucking Star Wars, like they have little palm hologram shit. Yeah. I like, mean, I mean, we have holographic actors and stuff, and they're bringing yeah. like Michael Jackson and Tupac back from the dead. Yeah, that's yeah. like... On like a projection screen though, not like free. No, that those are, those are free flying uh 3D projections. Whoa. They they use like the 3DS technology. 3DS. 
Yeah, like the Nintendo 3DS, where it makes like the, oh, the it stuff looks like look like it's a, 3D. Yeah, it makes gotcha. the room look like it's there, but it's really more flat mm-hmm. than it appears. Yeah, okay, but, okay, okay. But to our eyes, it makes the illusion that there's something walking on a big open space, kind of. Whoa. Yeah. Te- technology, man. It's crazy. The human brain's really easy to trick. Like, I'll trick you. <laughs> you, just, you just change the light a little bit, and your brain goes, I can't, what the fuck do you want me to do with that? <laughs> I, can't, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's like, you want to know what it is? That's what I think it is. <laughs> Fucking figure it out, loser. <laughs> I gotta do so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, So, I got a little, I got some stuff here for y'all. Uh, what do you got for me? So, you guys know about the whole HBO, Discovery Plus, they merged, right? Yeah. Correct. Everyone got... Max downloaded onto their shit would automatically because yep. you have HBO. I didn't. Have oh, it wasn't either, automatic. So. I had to go and oh, out really? of my way and do it. Yeah. it. On my Roku TV, it was already on there. Okay, I Xbox I'm... on my phone. I had to go grab so it. What was it? You had either HBO Max or what was the other one? Or Discovery Plus. Discovery Plus. Yeah, they okay. came together. Like right now, Ghost Adventures is on Max. We were, they I had yours. I had your Discovery Plus on my Xbox. It still works. I need to resign into it probably because okay. I haven't gone onto it. I got, I I'd have to check password. it. Yeah, I get you the password. Hell yeah. Uh, but um. With their new Max thing, they during when they rolled it out, they announced a new series coming soon. Okay, it's gonna be Harry Potter TV series. They said one yeah. season Ooh. per book. Yes, yes, I've heard about this. It's good. I'm excited. It's gonna be they're remaking the whole thing. They're getting new cast. Obviously, they can't bring thirty year olds to a big fucking eleven year old. <laughs> but um. I'm excited for it, man, because the the movies can only cover so much, and then certain a lot of time that they have. That's, that's a lot. That's what a lot of big fans of the books I, didn't like about the movies is stuff that they cut out from the books. Mm-hmm. Okay, but I'm sorry, Lord of the Rings did it. True. They 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 they, they, they cut off some stuff, but not like all of it, of course. Obviously, like uh, but they did did a pretty good job of just telling the exact story. Yeah. But I'm excited for the series. I want to see. Yeah, it'll be cool if it's because I never read the books. I don't know. I am slacking on that. But maybe the I won't have to now if they do a good job. <laughs> I mean, it's not Paramount. They can't fuck it up like Halo. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. HBO knows what the fuck they they, they do. Yeah. Look at Last of Us. They had, had Last of Us come out and that was just fucking. Oh fuck yeah! I've been wanting shit. to watch that. It's literally where my kid got her name from. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because Ellie from that and Ellie from Dead Space too. Because I was like, what's a badass female character? Ellie and Ellie. They're both badass. Boom. Yeah. And that's how they got her name. Money. Except we, except we spelled it different. Uh, I'm not going to tell you, audience. They're never going to guess. The the dragon chick from the um, freaking Game of Thrones. Oh, 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 oh. Daenerys. 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 Something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a badass chick. That is a badass chick. <laughs> Daenerys would have been a fucking cool mm-hmm. name. Daenerys is Gal Gadot. Cool. He said that if we were having... Samus. It was... It was either Elliot or Ellie, and then we were like, if we had a second, we will, and it was a boy, we were going to name it Iroh. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Dude, uh, I need to fucking watch Korra. I still haven't finished it. It's season. really good. Yeah, I hear it gets a lot better. It, yeah, the first season's kind of slow, but it fucking just goes. It fucking goes, Season, season like... three and four are fucking amazing. There we are, the <laughs> Cobb Bros. We are in here. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. We're in Squidward. Somebody just put their phone number in. <laughs> We're, We're in Squidward's house. Yoda Gaming. <laughs> oh, this is going to be in the podcast. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, look at oh, Sandy crap. in the fucking way so back. Awesome. Yeah. We are spinning in Squidward's house. Dude, like... we're living the big life here. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. Uh, we have a new comment from Teresa. He asked if uh, MCC is uh, crossplay. MCC? No. You no, can, you can. Eat. You either have to be, all, everyone on PC or everyone on Xbox. Oh, okay. If you have different versions of Xbox, yes, you can play. Yeah. But PC and Xbox are they're all, separate. Yeah. Okay. Dude, uh, why don't they just make everything crossplay at this point, man? Because they, they didn't make the games, they and they clearly don't know how to make the games either. Okay. <laughs> but I mean, like, fuck, dude, we're in an age of gaming where we should be able to play with our buddies. On... Did he just ask Patrick what he knew about communism? Yeah. <laughs> yes, Patrick, communism is bad. It's a system in which the government controls all the resources and controls the people. SpongeBob, oh what? <laughs> wait, 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 SpongeBob, why do you know about this? Patrick said that, that doesn't, doesn't sound, sound very good. good. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a system that results in poverty and dictatorship. Dude, what about dictators? And what are they doing to the what, potatoes? What happened to that tater? Dictators. <laughs> Dicking down potatoes? Everyone's in the comments is just going based AF. <laughs> Commies seething. <laughs> Commies seething. 
The Cabros, we're back on screen. Yay! I can't believe Gary ate all the microwave. <laughs> okay, I'm still in the crusty crab, but I started recording it. Okay. I started recording on my phone too. Gary there we are. Ah. This is awesome. I love this. He is a pig. Why is Gary so two dimensional? What? Do you Why see how he squished keep... his face? Yeah, he is. He's like sideways or something. Hell yeah. They keep we repeating the shot. Shot. over and over again. <laughs> bueno. Three hours later. Are you a magma fan? <laughs> I just am. <laughs> Shout out to the people watching the uh, the podcast this week. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. This also isn't canon, only because the crusty crab is right, right in front next of their door. houses. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, that's an incontinuity error right there. Yeah, it looks like we disappeared on screen, but that's okay. Already, can't do. Mm -hmm. It's probably a well. I mean, Worm's been standing there for a minute. Yeah, he's probably, I wonder he's... if they have like them come in and out. That might, it mm. randomly generated fish. Like every time it does that, like uh, three hours later or something, it puts a couple different fish in, maybe. <laughs> that fucking... Elon Musk of Ohio? Why the fuck is Sandy still standing there? She's just staring at Squidward. She has like her eyes wide open. <laughs> she's literally just staring at. There she is. I just. She's I watched your She nose. just moved over and just locked eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just going to set this down and let it do its thing. Okay. If you're recording, I'm gonna Fucking, stop it on my phone. This is amazing. This, this is amazing. this is fantastic. Yeah. I'm glad you guys didn't know about it because when yeah, I this discovered this for the first great. time, so someone pushed a fucking button and said, "Let it run." Let it run. Let it cook. Let well, it cook. they had to set this up so that there was models and stuff. But mm. I mean, like, this is awesome. Oh my god! <laughs> and it's fully voice acted, which is the best. Yeah, part. yeah, and yeah. subtitled yeah. too. And crazy. subtitled, so it's including audio. everybody. Yeah. Watch Adam people. Allison, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, we'll just have Brandon's stream playing in the video podcast right here. Yeah. A little saucy. Whoa. Little saucy. Um, anybody else got anything they want to talk yeah. about this week? I mean... uh, So, now we're, we're in summer, right? I'm pretty sure we're in summer. That is what June usually signifies. Like yeah. So, with that comes the summer game show. Ooh. We may know that Forza Motorsports are going to make a. It's a Ooh. There. What do you guys else think? I'm excited for that. Yeah. What do you got? What else do you think is going to like be, like at some? They're going to showcase. Obviously, like, Starfield. It's a Microsoft, yeah. right? It's it's like a just a game showcase. The oh, Xbox every, will be everybody's there, doing it. But yeah, it's, it's like, like the new E3. Exactly. It's online. They stream. They're, they're on their own studios at their own place, and they stream it to like the centralized network. Huh. It's pretty. Cool, I right? expect yeah. Skull and Bones. Maybe some final touches on Skull Bones? Yeah, finally. Because it's supposed to get launched sometime soon-ish, maybe, hopefully, Sometimes, probably. Yeah. It's going to be a failure. Maybe not. We'll see, man. We'll it'll, see. it'll come out. Eventually. Sure. Eventually, but I think it it will come out. It might come out worse than Redfall, but that's okay, because, you know, know, Gollum came out. Gollum came out. Oh, yeah. my God, Gollum. Dude. I actually really want to play it. I just won't pay full price for it. Yeah. I've I seen, really want to know. I've seen a lot of videos now that it's out more of just how... You're right. It looks like a fucking PS2 game, dude. Uh, okay. it's, it's very rough around the red. Uh, for the a edges. PS5 game, like I, you should expect more for, if you're paying $70 fucking dollars. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I talked about it last week, how like it requires a lot from your system and the game just looks like ass. Yeah, that's a tough one. It'll make no sense. Mm -hmm. That was the one that had ridiculous requirements, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll get some Fallout. Maybe new Fallout, uh, new Vegas, something. New Elder Scrolls. New Elder Scrolls. Dude, I, I would yeah, love. <laughs> oh, maybe GTA Six. Maybe a little. Oh, maybe a little like a trailer, trailer. trailer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they yeah. might actually awesome. give us an official give, like trailer. Give us or a little for tease. It. Yeah, an actual one, not the one that I fucking found. Something <laughs> that they want to show us, not yeah. something that's leaked. But historically, I haven't GTA... watched anything of that shit yet. Mm, GTA has always been tied to PlayStation historically. That's really? true. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I mean, it's is it. Is PlayStation going to be at the thing? I'm pretty sure. I could. I'll, let, me, let me double check. Because if they are, then we have a pretty good chance. Right. Mm -hmm. Summer Game Fest is what it's called. My bad. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, maybe they'll announce the uh, the roadmap for Redfall's patch. Uh, it better be. Not patches. Like, one patch. They'll just roll it yeah. out slowly. Uh, I better see that in the, sometime next month. Mm -hmm. That's the fucking case. I think it's Double Fine Studios is the company that made Psychonauts. Maybe they'll announce something there. Yeah, they, they. I did see something in here that they are going to be there. I I know they teased at it, and everyone's hoping that it maybe it's another Psychonauts sequel, or they bring back an older game. What maybe we'll finally get another uh, uh, Cyberpunk DLC. Oh, the free one. That's the right. It's coming up. Yeah. 
I remember that one's coming up. And, uh, it's oh shit, that's coming up soon. Yeah, it's five days away. Uh, for yeah. Double Fine, they'll be on there. Uh, I'm excited. June eighth at two p.m. Mm-hmm. Hey, there we are again. Hey, Cobra's yeah, back in the studio. Look at us, we're fucking yeah. scared. And Big down. Balls, Big Balls was there before us, so yeah, they look okay. like they come in and out. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, yes. I'm like, yes. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. Oh, Devolver's gonna have their own time slot too. That's good. Devolver makes yeah. some bomb games. They're gonna on the at three p.m. Tribeca Game Spotlight. I'm not quite sure. Sounds like an indie Microsoft studio. Yeah, uh, exclusive gameplay. I've heard of games. Tribeca. Okay. Tribeca. I, I don't know what they've done, but I've definitely heard that name before. <laughs> Yeah, they're minute. gonna. They have a time slot at noon, uh, for for their stuff. Mm-hmm. Wholesome Direct, whatever that is. Indie games that demonstrate the incredible range of theme styles and perspectives the games have. And what day is this that they're doing everything? Uh, so for, the, yeah, from June eighth, it's Double Fine, and then like the intro, and then they're gonna have Devolver at June eighth. So it starts later this week. Yeah. Okay. Uh, tra- June ninth is they're gonna have the <laughs> Tribeca games. June <laughs> the the Wholesome Direct. And then June 11th is the Xbox Game Showcase, followed immediately by Starfield Direct. Nice. So, we Starfield, huh? so they are going to show some Starfield. Mm-hmm. And then... Well, that game better go fucking live soon. Honestly. Okay. <laughs> On Game Pass, game one, let's go. No. No, no. No. Dude, Santa on the, no. Uh, Still on the 11th at 1 uh, for Pacific Standard Time, uh, they're going to do the PC Game Show. Two hours of reveals featuring more than 15 new game announcements. Hell yeah. Oh, right. wow. Do you think one of those is going to be Bejeweled 4? Hell Ooh, yeah. I wonder if we're going to get a new Call of Duty thing. Or if they're going to do, um, wait, like they've been doing, just like last minute, be like, hey, Call of Duty. Maybe. Remember when Cold, Nor- Cold War was announced like two months before it came out? Yeah. Yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? That game was so smart. What smacking. about the fucking uh, uh, Fall, Fall 4? It was like, you can play it this year. And it's like, oh, yeah, it was like five months away. Yeah. PC might announce the release of uh, God of War Ragnarok and the next Spider-Man. Ooh. That's coming. God of War Ragnarok's coming out next year. Is so it? Coming, yeah, that's, uh, it, they yeah. said they waited a year for it to come. I still out. need okay. to finish God of War. Oh, dude. Yeah, yeah. they'll get, they'll give PlayStation a full year on everything. Absolutely. I'm like probably two thirds, seventy five percent way it's through a it. Fucking right. great game, dude. Yeah, great game. I'm glad. I was glad I had a PS4 at the time. And I was able to play God of War because oh, it's, it's, it's incredible. It looks so fucking yeah. good on the computer, dude. Oh yeah, especially on your. I bet you laptop. I can ray trace on on this fucking <laughs> thing with it. Ray <laughs> trace God of War, dude. dude. Oh, God, it makes the fucking thing melt immediately. Like, <laughs> Brandon's like, can we go get in the freezer real quick? No, no particular. Reason. Literally, I'll just. <laughs> I just have to buy his fucking walk-in freezer so that I can <laughs> make that my game room. <laughs> so right. it's constant. Condens- you know, <laughs> condensation. Oh. No. Um, well, well, if I put it's a walk-in freezer, but if I put in a bunch of dehydrators in it, then it we'll wrap cold. it in a turkey bag. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, well, at that point, if it's that cold, it doesn't need airflow, so I'll just just, wrap va- it in just vacuum seal it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Not vacuum seal electronics. <laughs> <laughs> the bag just starts going, <laughs> exploding and shit. Oh, the battery's yeah, caving in on itself. I'm excited too. If I can. Uh, new some of the games gonna be pretty fucking slush. Sl- yeah, if you guys swaggy. haven't, I watched a playthrough of Ragnarok and I haven't seen uh, shit about it. Yeah, I won't spoil anything because it is a masterpiece. Yeah, dude. I can't wait. I it, can't wait. It is so fucking cool. You need like, to finish God of War, man. You need to finish God of War. Mm-hmm. It, the new Spider Man well, looks I've seen, fucking amazing. I've seen a playthrough though. of the first one as well. So like, I know, uh, I know that with the story that happens, but okay. I, I'm just still. I'm just through. taking my time when I play it because it's just so fun to walk around everything and figure it all out. Mm-hmm. But I, every time I go back to it, I forget how to do like puzzles and shit. And I'm like, what the fuck? Where is this thing? Where is it? And then it's right there in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> or something that I've already unlocked and I just have to push Y on it to open to the door. To move it, yeah. 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 <laughs> no, but Colton's right. The, I've seen the trailers for the new Spider-Man 2. That looks shit looks... There's like crazy. a wingsuit now. Like you can fly yeah. as Spidey. You can use like... Interact the environment to screenshot yourself. It's yeah, nuts. It looks nuts. You can also you can also play as Peter Parker, Spider Man, and Miles Morales. And the Peter Parker Spider Man has a Venom symbiote. Wow. Ah, uh, yeah, they're gonna put Venom in this game. Now that's what I'm excited Just for. Right behind Squidward now. <laughs> Dude, I'm excited to see some Venom because uh, yeah. he wasn't in the first one or in Miles Morales. I don't mm-hmm. think I haven't seen Miles. No, Morales. he was not. No, yeah. he wasn't in either. But yeah, what a great fucking villain. Yeah, I was like a, one of the anti-hero, best. if I will, if you will. Yeah, right. 
And now that he's, and I'm excited for how he's going to be starting to introduce into the MCU. Dude, I know, man. We haven't heard anything about it. The literal o- only thing we know about is that the end of No Way Home when they get spoilers, to- spoilers, 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 spoilers. Just in case, just in case. Oh. That's been just out case? for over a year. Have we now. all seen it? I've seen it. Yeah, yeah. We've all seen it. Okay. So at the end, when Tom Hardy and Venom get shot back to their universe in that little fucking Sp- little thing that's still right there, yeah, yeah. they haven't touched anything past that. That's the only tease of it. Mm-hmm. Then again, I haven't seen Quantum Mania or Guardians. Nope, not in there. Nothing not in, in there. Nothing in there. Completely different type like stories going on. I yeah. really wanted to see Guardians in theater, but I know it's going to hit Disney Plus very soon. Yeah, so. me too. I'm within the next two months. Guardians three is pretty cool. It's, it's mm-hmm. pretty sweet. It's oh, a, I, I assume it's a Guardians movie. Yeah. We've all seen Across so, the Spider Verse, right? We can spoil it. The first one, yeah. Into the mm-hmm. Spider Verse. Across yeah, the Spider Verse is the new one. one. Yeah, we've all seen it, right? The we new one? The new yeah. one? Yeah. No. Oh. I saw it last night. Oh, oh did, yeah? I didn't even know it was out yet. Oh, it came out. out yesterday. Oh, yeah. No, I haven't seen it. How was it? How would you rate uh, it? Better than the first Spider-verse one? Spider-Verse movie? Yeah, yeah, it's already out. Oh. Yeah. Fuck. Was it Sorry. as good as the first one? It was very good. Hell yeah. Um, I wasn't alive at the time, and I don't know the anger that people felt between the fifth and sixth Star Wars movie. This is pretty close. <laughs> this, that that made me mad sitting in the theaters. It ends on a really big cliffhanger. Okay. Oh shit! Yeah. Huge. Holy shit! Huge. Yeah, I'm excited. For I remember that one. something crazy happened in the movie, and I went. Honestly, Nobody else reacting to this. Like the theater was dead quiet. I was like, "This is fucking insane." Yeah, and yeah. then I looked at my watch. I was like, "There's like ten minutes left." What the fuck could I have? And it started sinking in. I'm like, "Oh no, there's gonna be another movie." Oh wow! The movie it, it cuts it like that, huh? Was crazy because it starts off with um Gwen, yeah, in her universe and stuff like that. And the art direction it took with Gwen's universe is crazy. Every time the camera cuts, the color palette changes. Yeah, because mm-hmm. remember when the little scenes when they showed all the different universes? It was even Gwen's was it had that specific color. It looks tone like to Disco it. Elysium. The way yeah. that everything looks like it's like, like kind of all neon mm-hmm. and shit. Okay. Yeah, hand painted. Every scene is a different color palette. So like as soon as it flips a camera, different color palette. Did it? Did they do the same thing where it has like all the the like the comic dots? We yes. Have all the love it, mm-hmm. fucking love and it. And then you go back to Miles's world, and like everything that's not in focus is out of focus in the camera and stuff like that. And everything's in like kind of different frame rates. That that was it the was most a beautiful thing. Fan- that they did his one. his Fantastic frame movie. rates changed uh, during the swinging scene through the forest. His frame yeah, rates actually he, increased. Yeah, in the swinging scenes through the forest, uh, he is his frame rate increases, and then uh, in the scene when he jumps off the skyscraper and heads towards the rest of the spider people, he he increases again to the frame Dude, rate that the rest of the spider people that are That fucking at. scene of it, him... Um, my favorite chills, fucking scene. Chills, favorite bro. fucking scene. Like, that's in my top three se- favorite scenes yeah. ever. Hello, danger. Yeah, that song too. The, the way that the glass came off because he was still fucking holding on to it as he jumped, basically. He, was, like, he didn't want to let go still? Yeah, like oh. every little fucking thing about it. And as he jumped, like they flipped the fucking thing. Like the shot was upside yeah. down, so he was rising, not falling as he did his mm-hmm. leap of faith. They, like, they, they did a call to it uh, in the earlier when he was learning because he falls from one of the buildings. Mm-hmm. And then this one, and in that same scene, goes to the same building, it's him saying, like, screaming, like, woo, going yeah. up. It's so cool. Um, the cool thing about this one is it's like No Way Home where there's a lot of callbacks to the other Spider-Man movies. Yeah. Not like as severe as No Way Home was, but they do call back the other movies. Cool. Uh, one of them at one point is they bring up Uncle Ben dying. <laughs> Oscar dude, did the Uncle finger ben pointing. Died? Spoilers. Oh, dude. So they bring up Uncle Ben dying and they show the plot points in the other movies. Nice. Okay. Where Uncle Ben died. And one of the scenes was it was uh, Tobey Maguire Uncle, over Uncle Ben. I haven't seen that image of Uncle Ben since the Xbox Live meme. Where it's Toby Maguire crying, it's like, Uncle Ben, what happened? Xbox! <laughs> it's like a really serious scene in the movie, and all I hear in my head is, Xbox! <laughs> um, no, but they actually put a preview on YouTube of, um, there's a scene where uh, Miles is being chased by a bunch of other Spider-Mans. It's mm-hmm. like a minute and a half clip on YouTube, and that's in the movie, but it's elongated. Like, that's like a five-minute scene in the movie. Yeah, yeah crazy the amount of like animation that went into filming that and stuff like that because all spider-mans are different They're yes like, every style. single spider-man is different and uh like oscar's doing the finger pointing meme at one point the the scene starts off I with saw them the going you need to that. find miles morales it's, or you need to find spider-man and they all go you you you, you? you? every you? spider-man started you? doing the pointing meme <laughs> that that was in the trailer for it yeah yeah, yeah. it's a uh, spectacular it's a wonderful movie I went and saw it with a couple coworkers, and like he was jumping in his seat when Spider Punk showed up in the movie. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, he was like a little kid. He's like, yeah, yeah, 
<laughs> yeah. like silent containment and shit like that. He oh, appears yeah. pretty early, but it's pretty cool. I'm more of a fan of Spider-Man Noir just because mm-hmm. it's black and white. And, of like, course. That, and then that it's Nicolas Cage. Cage. Nicolas Cage, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I let matches burn out to my fingers just so I can pull something, anything. <laughs> they had a spider-man in the movie it was a like a volkswagen beetle or it was like a car what? And it was peter parked car <laughs> <laughs> oh no it was a fantastic movie it's i have part car nothing. part spider yeah <laughs> fuck dude a car was bitten by, or a spider that bitten by a radioactive car? Just spider get ran over by a radioactive car <laughs> but what's, what's up Oscar? would you drive that spider car um yeah, it looked pretty cool. It was hey, just. I'm Spider-Man proud of you for going and seeing a Spider movie. I was about to say, so I Venmo my buddy afterwards for the movie tickets because he bought them, and I said, "How dare you take an arachnophobic to the new Spider documentary?" <laughs> <laughs> Cyrus, by the way, there are um, spiders in Diablo. Yeah, okay, I'll figure it out. <laughs> but just use it like I did Skyrim. Just close my. They eyes. look. Yeah, yeah. They look pretty ant-like, but they do have eight legs. If it looks like. Metro, because I could do Metro spiders, because I didn't like they were called spiders, like but they weren't crab spiders. spiders. Yeah. yeah. Next next uh, time I run across one in the game, I'll send it to group chat. Like and a zoomed you can out make photo. your decision. Yeah. <laughs> um, there were from the front door. There were more spiders in that movie than every Spider-Man movie combined. For some fucking reason, they needed to keep doing the montage of the spider biting Morales, and then it was like more and more detailed every time. Nice. Nice. You know how in the original one it was like a half a second thing where the fangs go into him real quick and it's done? Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, it was maybe like 30 seconds of screen time. Ooh, for that dumb geez. fucking spider. Oh. I'm sitting at theaters like, are we doing this? Uh, are we really shit. testing yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> so you're like, I want to watch. I want to watch. Spider Man 1 wasn't even that bad because, like, you see the spider crescendo and then it's a quick scene of. And then he right. cracks it. And, and then he goes, oh, oh, it, it goes away. And the man gets infected radio- radioactive. Oh, fuck. How? The, that first <laughs> into the Spider Verse, he's just. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in the Tobey Maguire one, remember it, it got away. Yeah, I wonder what that spider's doing now. Living its best life, mm-hmm. probably. Or Didn't th- they end up showing it it dead in a corner or something later? Not in the first one. Not it in the bit, first it bit him and then it went away. Yeah, and then mm-hmm. they didn't show anything else with the spiders. Yep. Or no, the other thing passed. was like, I think one of your spiders is missing. And it's like, <laughs> oh, well, that's they, weird. They must be using it for testing. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> anywho. <laughs> Fantastic yeah. movie, definitely check it out. Yeah, if you guys I get a watch chance. It. Dude, I, I've been going to the drive-in a lot lately because oh, yeah. of the babies. So and it's cheap, nice. fucking eight dollars a ticket for the drive-in. That's not bad. That's yeah. not bad for brand new movies coming out. Mm-hmm. So, I'm about to and you get to sit in your own car and eat your own exactly. food. Exactly. They yeah. say no alcohol, but who's checking? Who the fuck is checking? Yeah. The, the 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 high schooler that's in the booth is not going to look through my card to look for some beer. Her hair just don't mm-hmm. don't do anything stupid. Done. Easy. I used yeah. to sit next to somebody that worked there, and they were like, "Yeah, if you just drive in, I'll just let you in." There you go. Give me, <laughs> give me his your number. I don't think he works there anymore. Damn. It was like five years ago. <laughs> I wonder why. Probably because you just let people drive in. <laughs> this ain't like the 50s, man. You can't sneak in your homie in the trunk anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can. Watch yeah, you me. Can. Yeah, Absolutely. Ba- yeah. Fuck, back, back in our day, we used to be able to just... It's like as long as they were able to fit in the car or the bed of the vehicle, you could take as many people as you wanted. You just pay the car spot, essentially. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, it's really cool nowadays because like used to like my parents always talk about it like you used to have to grab the speaker and put it in your car and your window would have to be open the entire time now you can just use your radio yeah you just tune to the station yeah mm-hmm. you could stand outside the gates with an fm radio like you know the just ones with the headphones on it and you can the... just like sit there and do this to see past the gate <laughs> oh yeah head. literally that yeah, one yeah, street right there has the fucking camera or mm-hmm. has the screen right there when i was uh leaving sierra's house the other day i fucking guardians was playing i was like do I stop or? <laughs> <laughs> There's apartments right there. Can you imagine having one of those balcony apartments? You could watch. Damn. Yeah, you literally just tune in your Dude, radio. Yeah, like, what like... are they gonna do? Wow. That's, that's... I shut it off. <laughs> Unless they have like those signals, like limiting. No, nah, so they good aren't now that, that they can make it yeah. fucking. I don't know how something would condense a radio signal. You know what I mean? The lead walls. Like, yeah. <laughs> Put a dome around the fucking side. <laughs> A lead dome? I mean, you could make the frequency a really common one and then, like, put play it at just a low enough power that it only reaches inside the, uh, like, area. Within, like, 100 yards mm-hmm. of the place, yeah. But, but you, you could very easily then just put, like, tinfoil around the antenna on a radio and point it at it and still get it. Got it. Yeah, but then you just need to wear a tinfoil hat and you can get the signal no matter what. I can just hear it in, my head. in your brain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
that's why Frankenstein had those screws in his yeah, neck, yeah. so he could just plug in his AirPods straight from his phone. Yeah. The right. do- Doctor Frankenstein was just like, "Dog, just go left." The, those mm-hmm. those were his those were his charging ports. Yeah. Wireless charging dock. Wireless. They hung wow. him up like a yeah, mirror. So he had to give it to charge up. <laughs> he did, he did, he just backed Pause. into it and it, it it locked onto those bolts, you know. Mm. Fucking it. It was or, like the Borg in Star Trek. We're at about uh 55 minutes or so. If you have a game for us this week, Oscar. Oh shit! I got I got one more topic. Yeah, I got okay, one more okay. topic too. I don't have okay. a game, but. By the way, Diablo right. Four, amazing. I'm playing the early release because I have the ultimate edition. It's great. Cool, we get it. Okay? Instead of Oscar's game, go watch the Borderlands Two reviews video. There you go. There you go. Twenty it's brand new reviews. Yeah. Well, I got inspired. I was like, I like Oscar's game. I'm just gonna go pilfer through Borderlands reviews, and I go. found a bunch of cool ones. You like found a, a good cake. I recipe. found a cake recipe. Yeah. What do you he want? Yeah, so if you want to make a nice uh, double chocolate cake, there's a cake recipe in the middle of the Borderlands video. Go on. I'm it. not joking. There's a full recipe. Full there recipe. Mm-hmm. Make a cake. Yep. <clears throat> right, well, what was your what was your thing, Osiris? Oh um oh gosh, Reddit is it it might be on fire soon, dude. Oh, what happened? Um, really? so they've announced that at the end of this month, June, um, Twitter made a uh, uh, change recently, and Microsoft was very vocal about how they're stepping away from using Twitter's API. Mm-hmm. Um, when you open up Game Bar on your laptop, there's a little Twitter button so you can share stuff straight to Twitter. Right. Yep. Um, they eliminated that feature because Twitter raised the price, and Microsoft wasn't willing to pay the increased price because they wanted like tens of millions of dollars from them to be able to use the feature where all you have wow. to do is share a photo. And they're just like, it's not worth it for us to pay that kind of price. Yeah. Reddit said they were going to do something similar because Reddit has an official app, but you can grab their data and through use it an on API. a th- Yeah, and through an API and you can use it on a third party app. Like I hate the official Reddit app. It is not good. I have one called wow. Reddit is fun on my phone. Mm-hmm. It's a third party app and it looks like how Reddit used to look 15 years ago. Where it's just a uh, a list of links that you can look at, and then you click on a picture, and it loads a picture separately instead of doing like on Instagram, where it pulls up a picture and a link at the same time. So instead oh. of infinitely scrolling, you can sit there and browse links and look at it. It's gotcha. like a classic way of looking at Reddit. Um, I used to have a Logitech G15, and it had an RSS feed, and you could put Reddit on it. Hell yeah! Um, wow. There's a lot of people that don't like new Reddit because they redesigned it like six or seven years ago, and you can use old Reddit. Hmm. I'm very vocal about if they shut off old Reddit, I would probably die. would not use Reddit anymore because the new Reddit is not favorable. Um, another very popular app is called Apollo. It's another one that pulls an API and um, you can sit there and scroll on it. It's heavily customizable and it's mountains better than the official app because the developers have actually taken time to make sure that the users are comfortable using the app and mm-hmm. that they can make their experience their own. Yeah. Well, Reddit has announced that they are increasing the prices of the API. And Apollo has come out and has called out Reddit on their bullshit. Reddit was like, it's not going to be as expensive as Twitter's and it's going to be highly accessible. Um, Apollo said that the amount of traffic that they pull on their app, they would have to pay Reddit one and a half million per month. Oh my God. For an app that's probably being developed by three people at most. Would have to scrounge out. It doesn't out, make anywhere close to that money. Yeah, a one and a half million per month. And they're like, we have to shut the app down at the end of June because we literally can't afford to do it. And that means that other apps, because Apollo is probably the most successful one, that means Reddit is fun is going to follow. Um, there was a third one that I had in my brain that I forgot, but basically every all of those are just going to crumble because if Apollo can't afford it, nobody else is going to be able to afford it. Yeah. And what they're doing is they're trying to kill third party apps so everyone downloads their app. God damn. I'm not going to download their app. Their app is dog water. It sucks dick. <laughs> it sucks. Water. I'll still probably use it on my computer because I still have old Reddit, but if they try to terminate old Reddit or anything like that, then what's the point of using Reddit anymore? Yeah. No um, more. I don't want to play with you anymore. So Reddit is run by the moderators of the board. So like, if I'm following the Las Vegas, there's an official Raider subreddit. The people that run it are just people. It's nobody that works at Reddit. It's just regular people that moderate it in their free time. That's how the website works. It's just people moderating on their free time. But Reddit is commercializing it to a point where it's putting the mods in a hard position where it's like, hey, we're doing this work for free um, and you're making it harder for us to get information out to people like this website was originally supposed to. Yeah, we'll just buy my shit, okay? Um, R slash videos, which is one of the most popular subreddits on there. It's one that you are automatically subscribed to when you create an account. Right. They've announced that they're doing a three-day blackout from June 14th to 16th where they are blocking submissions. So basically, they're saying you can't submit anything here. We're just going to try and take content away from 
Reddit and they're interested to see how many other people are going to do it. Interesting. Because basically it's That's up good. to the mods to just lock the subreddit and keep people out. Like I remember when um Reddit was doing something weird with news sites, a bunch of Reddit's uh blacked out their pay- their subreddits cuz they were like nobody's allowed to post here cuz we're trying to bring attention to this problem. Yeah. Well, if you have Reddit, undownload that shit. That's <laughs> yeah. fucked up. So That's I foul. should undownload it then? It's just they're killing third-party apps, which makes it very anti-user. It's just corporate bullshit. Greed. Corporate greed, man. Because if they really wanted just a little bit more money, they wouldn't have set a very, very high bar for these apps to pay. Because no app is going to be able to pay that price. Unless you're somebody like Elon, who has Twitter, and was like, oh, I'll throw you $1.5 million a month. Right. Yeah. Stupid. It's so stupid. Stupid. And in the month of June. Right? And they were roommates. Yeah. Pride <laughs> month. Pride month. I can be very gay and never have to say no homo. I mean... Legally. I mean, it's not gay to kiss the homies goodnight, so... Yeah. Yep. We've yeah the homies are the homies. The homies are the homies. You can take care of the homies. It's not yeah. It's not wrong. It's not wrong. Oscar, do you have a topic? Uh, yeah, sorry. I was definitely not doing the game right now. Uh, I just You're to- doing the game now? No. You said you didn't have it. I'm working on it. Anyways. Work uh, harder. I'm working. Sorry, Dad. Um, so I just want to talk about this new game that came out like last week called Bolt. <laughs> there it goes. Car went through what the. the they got ran over by a car. Nice. Yeah, I just wanted to talk about this one game, uh, new game called Bolt Gun. It's a, uh, uh, it's a, uh, 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 the style of game is called a boomer shooter. Nice. But I don't know what boomer else. Shooter. A better way. Boomer to shooter. Yeah, I know. <laughs> wow. I know. Grandparents around that. Hell yeah. <laughs> like bad way to call it. But essentially, think of like N64 FPS shooters. Okay. Oh, I was thinking like Ape War, but Florida old people. No. <laughs> Oh no. my god, can you imagine, like, a conservative with, like, all their vacation gear on in Florida? <laughs> toting around a bazooka and shit like that? That actually sounds like fun. I Isn't mean, that just Vegas? <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck. I Fear mean, and loathing. Yeah. Fear and loathing. You know, it's, uh, so it's, like, the style of, like, Doom 64, and it's set in the Warhammer 40k universe. Mm-hmm. And uh, you're, essentially, you're playing as a space marine going along, like, uh, killing all these people that are just invading your world. And it's a pretty fucking. It's like a, It's like it has like a movement shooter base to it, where uh, you're like you're running around, jumping around. You have an ability that just dash through people, and they just explode because you're just like th- three tons of just metal rushing ahead of people. That uh, one of my favorite abilities in the game is that um, if you hold left trigger, uh, you rev up a chainsaw that you have, and then if you highlight over an enemy, it slows down time, and you dash over no matter how. Like, like, even if you're in the air and falling, you can just dash straight ahead at this fucking person and just... Sounds this like is Warhammer, isn't it? it? Yeah. Yeah. It's, I it's, thought it's, so. It's, it's set in the Warhammer 40k universe. It's fucking... I, I've been following it recently, like, the Warhammer stuff. It's... I just love the story about it because it's so fucking brutal. So much... Oh, brutal. yeah. No, Warhammer's oh. nuts. The only problem I have with Warhammer is I would really be interested in playing the tabletop of it, but it is hands and away more expensive than D&D. Oh, yeah. Like, to get a whole, like base army of like i think it's like a thousand points it's like almost two thousand dollars i have a co-worker who, <laughs> yeah. who's really into that shit it oh, yeah? sounds nuts yeah it's the game they is- have like people have like basements filled with minifigures that they had painted because <clears throat> they don't come that painted out. that's nuts yeah or assembled. You, they come flat packed. You have to fucking assemble like them. Models. That's yeah. pretty cool. They're just models. You make the models, paint them however. You, and then, like, even the modeled weapons that they carry affect their stats and what kind of attacks they do. You can yep. like, literally swap out their arsenal on the model and that, like, will affect it. That's it's, cool. It's crazy. The, ga- the tabletop, the game is nuts. <laughs> and then the story. I would love to get into it, but it is, it is insane. It's, it's expensive as fuck. That's why we play Dungeons and Dragons. Exactly. <laughs> we it's use cheap. our imagination. Imagination is cheap. <laughs> imagination is cheap. It yep. is. Look, what, what what do we use for our our uh a mat? We use a fucking whiteboard. Peanuts. Peanuts. Yeah. We use a whiteboard. I mean, thing. so like from I actually have mats and stuff. The problem I I am having is finding many figures for spell jammers. They I can't find any character models for spell jammers. You could just the. There's the some... way that they're selling them mm-hmm. is random items in boxes. Uh... So you you buy them and you get a random one out of this box. You could um, I know there's websites where you can do like custom ones, like you just build them. However, 
Or you, I haven't been able to find any, but I haven't been looking for custom minifigs either. That might, might mm -hmm. be a better way. I don't know how exactly what the price ranges for those are. Yeah, it might be a little bit more because they're customizable. But I'm sure it's like based off of like the the pieces that you use and how like refined they are. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm also contemplating just picking up a resin or uh, a like filament 3D printer and just printing my own. There you go. The the, the <laughs> plastic spools are like 30 cents for like a whole spool or some shit like that. They're a little bit more than that, but the the only problem I have with the filament ones is the print lines mm. oh, yeah. versus the resin printers being like it's all one piece. Gotcha. <gasps> you can't get like a like sandpaper and just sand off those edges or like the lines. So yes and no, you can sand them down, but you're still gonna have like the layers because it prints the way the the filament ones do it mm. is they print layer by layer and so they're still just molten plastic sticking to each other on those layers oh okay so it, every single one of them is gonna be it's like just stacking a whole bit like putting a like a glue stick on a sheet of paper and then sticking another one on top of it okay okay is essentially what you're doing with a, a filament 3d printer filament 3d all right but so a live resin or a live resin, mm -hmm. a resin one would be. Yo, what's up, dog? <laughs> <laughs> different, thing, different things. Different things. Uh, a resin one would be way better than the filament one, as you were saying. Pretty much. Yeah, because like the way the resin ones work is they're a vat of liquid, and there's a pad that gets pulled up through the vat of liquid mm. with LEDs hitting the liquid in su LEDs or lasers hitting the liquid in such a way that it's solidifying it. Okay. In the mold form. Okay. Well, so it's closer to a molded piece than a 3D printed piece. We're fucking just... It's crazy. The world that we're in. We can just th make our own fucking 3D models and shit. Like, like, like we're like... I want to say we're not in the future yet, but we're pretty fucking close. You know what I mean? We're just <laughs> yeah. missing flying cars at this point. I I mean, if, if you looked at where we're at now from 1970... We've come a hell of a long way, technologically speaking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now you know. Socially speaking, we have fallen far, far, Back, far away. Like a Neanderthal uh, level of, of socialism. I, I think of socialism. Neanderthals <laughs> are probably <laughs> yeah. more advanced than we are at this point. Fair enough. Sure about that? Sure, sure about, about that? Well, I mean, when was I the can last... buy camos on a video game, when, okay? When was the last time <laughs> you ate a weird mushroom, had a trip, and then invented a hammer? Like, two minutes ago. Is that ago, how that Caesar? happened? Were you there? What else did they do? How did they? How else would you make a hammer? I don't know. Uh, somebody was banging on something, and then somebody grabbed a rock and banged on it, and then the rock got stuck to the stick that they were banging on, and then they started banging with the stick with the rock attached to it, and went <laughs> banging. Hey, on this bangs better. Loving this rock right now. <laughs> yeah, banging on rocks is a cool Vegas trip, like realistically. That's it. That's all I have to add. <laughs> well, the, okay. the main part is uh, we don't have to go to the chocolate walrus anymore. We can just 3D print our toys. Yeah. We don't have to fucking go look for hope for the best. I thought the chocolate walrus is just like a boutique. I mean, it's it's a good candy every once in a while. It but... sounds like a sex shop. Yeah, it is a sex, sex shop. shop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Colton got it without even knowing it. <laughs> Yeah, That's what it done. sounds like if somebody just told you that. I'm like, boy, that sounds an awful lot like a sex shop. <laughs> it could be your sex shop now for two pants. It's like when somebody goes, oh, I'm just headed to Adam and Eve. And you're like, somebody innocent's like, oh, I didn't know you were religious. Boy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm the opposite. <laughs> I work at Adam and Eve. Oh, my God. He studies. I know someone that works at Adam and Eve. It was cool. 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 <laughs> it was cool. That's probably the worst part. Like, imagine if you walk into one and you just know somebody working at the counter. It's like, Steve, how's it going? Yeah, I need more lube. I ran out. The manager runs out and hands you a cart. <laughs> oh, the regular. The usual. <laughs> uh, the usual, Frank. <laughs> Boy, you and Betsy sure have been having it lately, haven't you? <laughs> uh, uh, no, Be Betsy left me six months ago. Uh, Mm -hmm. His name is Chuck. Chuck. <laughs> well, I've just got just the right thing for you. Chuck. 
<laughs> Chuck. Chuck. Chuck and Larry. I now pronounce you. Chuck and Larry. All right, do we got Chuck anything? Ball. I'm working on it, dude. It's well, not easy. We well, can't stall. stall for time anymore. Oh, then pause. We should come right back. God. Snotty blob. <laughs> Good game. That was something. Yeah, yeah, hey. Yeah. I sure shit didn't come up on the spot. Yeah, thanks for uh, up, huh? listening this far into the episode <laughs> to catch the game. And uh, mm -hmm. make sure you check our socials in the, the, the description. That's Descri a word. Descri if you're listening yeah. right now, leave a comment. Yeah, leave a comment. We will Le you put out. the word corn in the comments if you yeah, listen to this. Just go. say corn. Yeah. Right now. AI right. SpongeBob. Corn. AI <laughs> SpongeBob corn. Thanks for listening, everybody. Ooh. Corn. Beat corn? That's, uh, that's good. Check out my EP at the end of the next month. Uh, C go. level. Boom. C, C level. level. Mm -hmm. C See you later.